Hazma. The lungs of this city are burning. Outside, an ambulance expels three medics. Minutes later, they move a man between them like a chess piece. From our terrace, I can see the thin, frail rage of his chest rising and falling with each step. I can see the fever glowing, radiation hot, his chest heaving. A woman stands by the door, crying. The suits help him tenderly. Three beekeepers carefully arranging the contagious fever of a whole hot hive to be hand delivered finally into a white sterility. Each night since I have stared at that house. What if they ban funerals? Then what will she do but sit memorizing every last detail of these men, eyes under white hoods escorting him into darkness? The sirens are silent. Their lights disappear into blackness, into a night on fire with distance. The spring trees are restless, their branches breathing and creaking. Tonight and every night, I can't help but think, what walls of what houses, how many thousands, passing near time, caging such grief. Tower ruin with river, late afternoon. High walls, lich and eaten, moss-shod rock, crest of nettles, their barbed hot tang, crowning the approach there. Your hands on the small of my back, our belts unbuckling, and close the slick cold silver of a river running through. The tin whistle call of a blackbird, of birdsong, and all those things we knew or only thought we knew. Rough grass, speedwell, deep summer, such sweet cold water. Hypatia, opening slice by slice, the heavens. Here is my blood on the stones, I give it to them. Here are the heavens above me, I take them into me. The shards of the Parabolani fly like planets, and each slice of slate the stars hurtle closer. Celestial, I rise and rise, unto, until.